today we're going to be using an extending box to create a health bar for your games. We can start with a number object, a box object, and an extending box. We can add a text object to inform the player of what they're looking at. You make the text object visible only and edit the text to whatever you'd like. Then connect the extending box to the regular box and make the number object visible only. We'll also change the settings on the regular box for now so that they're only visible. In the extending box, we'll change the connection point to X minus and X plus. You can see the basic components, but they are not quite in the right place yet. Now we'll make the regular box invisible and move it over the number object. That's a little better. Now we need to add the extending box functionality. We'll set the X scale value on it to a one for now. To emulate some kind of game logic, I'm going to be using two buttons to increase and decrease the health. But you would be replacing those with whatever you currently have in your game. We'll add a counter to keep track of the health and a map node on. Connect the buttons to the counter on the up and down, the counter to the map, and the map to the x-axis on the extending box. We'll also connect the counter to the number object so that it will display the health. We'll set the range on the counter from 0 to 20 with a starting value of 20. On the map node on, we'll change the input range from 0 to 20 and the output range, in this case, from negative 1 to 2. Now, the output range on the map node on can't be 0. It needs to be a negative number. What I've found to work is using a negative version of the X scale on the extending box, in this case, 1. And now we've got it to work. Your health can go down, up, it can go to 0. Try it out and let me know what you think.